you have to get your pet to be small, your pro dumb, because I mean, if you are a type of person who likes to go around the neighborhood, tasting the different seasonings of the sweet beans that they do in each house. If you are like me, uh, a person who only eats sweet beans in my mother's house, uh, nothing is gonna happen to you. Yes, Andy? Andy, you put your hands up, go on. I'm missing the sweet beans. I mean, um, maybe once I arrive there, I'm gonna do my own, or probably I'm gonna do my father. Thursday will be not the same here because you don't have all the ingredients that you may find back home. But I wish you guys you and your your so remember like the teacher say just eat one at a time. Huh? But you but Andy you can you can do your own sweet beans there. Look, you only need three things. Yes. Three things. Yes, but then, believe me, believe me. I Give it a try with different items, but it's not the same flavor. <laughs> I got it. I know. I know. <laughs> that is true. Patricia, you want to say something about sweet beans and Holy Week and Easter? No. I'm sorry. Can you please repeat that again? No. If you, if you, do you eat sweet beans? Sweet, sweet beans, yes. Do you like the red sweet beans or the black sweet beans? No, no black, red. But why is it that people don't do black sweet beans? I don't know. No, I think that they should be always like salty, savory, not sweet. Uh, right. And also we have guandules, right? The green beans. Why is it that people don't do sweet green beans then i don't think that will be right well but if you can do it with the red beans you can do it with the green ones what's the no i think that we stood to the red to the red one because they taste good uh, if you taste that that's gonna no mm -mm. oh okay right uh diani rosario are you in this class diani See, teacher. What do you want me to see? Show me. She says, see, I'm, I'm trying to see, but she doesn't show anything. I don't see anything on your screen, Diani. Well, all right. Uh, what about you, um, Emily Noraima? Are you here? Yeah, teacher, I'm here. No, okay, I see. <laughs> but you mean in this class? Here. Because I have participated. No, you know what happens. No, oh, I no, I'm here. Okay, <laughs> because what happens is that many people go into the meeting. They're there, right? But they go to the grocery store, they go to the supermarket, they go to the bathroom yeah. and, and, and you there, and the teacher believes that you there, but you're not there for real. It's only your name. I have taken classes online. I know all the tricks about this, you know? So I have a- I am here, I am here too. Oh, I see you, Samuel Jack, um, not Jackson, Samuel. Uh, yes, where is, uh, let me see, I'm looking for a person here. Yes, I was looking for Jadelkis. Jadelkis, do you do you like sweet beans? Yes, teacher, I like sweet beans. Sweet beans. Do, you, do, you, do you like the, the sweet beans with grains or without grains? Without grains. Well, I don't I like, like grains. Oh, I like it with- I like I like the the cookies and the batata. I don't know how to, how to say batata. Sweet potato. Yeah. Batata. 
Okay. <laughs> That's a potato, but sweet, sweet potato. <laughs> okay, sweet potato. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I like sweet potato too in the sweet beans and also the 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 cookies, the one that have the cross, the 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 ones that are yeah. in a circle. Yes, they're very good. And if you have cassava, also the cassava is good. But the cassava, yeah, sure. when, if you leave it in in the sweet beans, it grows. You know, it spends. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, right. Jennifer Lopez, are you in this class? Jennifer, I guess she's not Lopez. Yes, teacher. Your last, your last name is Lopez. No. No? No, my last name is... What, what's your last? last? Cabrera, that's your last name? No. Oh, but that's the only thing she knows how to say, no. <laughs> I asked three questions and she said, no, no, no. She doesn't say anything else. Say your last name at least. My cousin, uh-huh, yeah. Oh. Teacher, I say. Yes, yes, I, I listen to you now. Yes, you're right. What about you, Pamela Martinez? Do you wanna say if you like grains in the beans or no grains in the beans? Sweet beans, I mean. Definitely grain teacher. Yes, yes. But yeah. I like to chew like the grains. I like to chew the grains, you know. It's not that you're gonna have a lot of grains, right? Because it's not normal beans that you're eating. Of course, there should be much more liquid than grains, but at least a few grains and raisins over there. Yeah. Samuel Alvarez. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah teacher. Sorry. Oh, hold on, Samuel. I, I, Pamela wants to. I just wanted. I just wanted to say that today I'm gonna be a ghost because I'm on divorce. Okay. So that you are getting divorced? No, I'm at work. I'm not even married. No. Oh, I thought that you today I won't be in the whole class because I'm getting divorced. That's what I. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not work. I'm working. Please. All right, don't worry, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Danny, you put your hands up. Is that from now or from before? Uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, do you want it to talk about the grains in the beans or? Yeah. The beans, the sweet beans. Yeah. So at the beginning you were saying about people that eat sweet beans in different places, but uh -huh. allow me to tell an I'm one of those person, maybe the <laughs> first one, because that's one of my weakness. And I wait for this season. And you know that we have many friends. Uh -huh. So, you know, my, my mother house, uh, my, <laughs> my wife, and also uh, 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 neighbors, the uh -huh. good neighbors. Hey, I, I'm getting ready yours here. So I'm <laughs> weak with that, but at the next day, my body is totally weak because <laughs> I, can, I cannot resist to that I know, I but know. another thing is hey people are prepared preparing the sweet beans and they put the cookies in while they are preparing it so uh -huh. to me that's something that wow that that's an aberration uh -huh. so is you need to put it once they are ready and when you give it to the people you put it there and it, mm. so you know the people put it inside the, the sweet beans yeah but yes I get very sick all mm -hmm. time since since I have knowledge eating sweet beans. It happens to me every every single year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. I mean, you know, you like. I mean, you know how you're gonna feel at the end. But you know, I exactly. you like sweet beans, so I'm gonna eat sweet beans. That's right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I used to be one of those drinking sweet beans in old houses, but I cannot do that anymore. You know, Gerardo, yes, go on. How many pounds of sweet beans uh, do you make in your house, Gerardo, your mother or your grandmother? How many pounds? Eight? Eight? Eight. 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 Eight.
my classmate and teacher uh, has arrived many memory about my grandmother who was uh, alive in the countryside uh -huh. because she was the master chef prepared the sweet bean <laughs> in the countryside and the same time many uh, many parades in the countryside with different balls in the neighborhood right. uh, passing the the sweet bean uh, around to the neighborhood the uh -huh. city is totally uh, different because the uh, the person is close uh, to the neighborhood, but and the but and the countryside is totally different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is true. Like yes. this, this is a sharing. Season. Mm -hmm. This is like a sharing season uh, uh, in the countries, and you know, and many people from the city. What they do is that they go to the countryside. Uh, to share with the family because this is a, a nice time to be together. Uh, Danny, you wanted to say something there. Uh, no, hands is down. Me, okay. teacher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I really like the sweet things. Grains is, for me, is uh, very delicious. Because I don't care uh, about it without grains or with grains. I really like the sweet beans. Right. I really like uh, feel uh, feel uh, the the ingredients, the 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 rain, grains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the cookies. I really like the the, the, the Hollywood for that for the for the sweet beans. My, my, right. my family, my family, uh, for example, my grandmother, my aunts, my mother, uh, prepared the, for me, the best sweet beans. It's really yeah. like delicious. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Um, give me one second here. Right, someone was asking me something. Uh, one sec here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Someone was asking me about some grades from last semester. But anyways, I know it's there. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know if you remember. Uh, I know that many of you are very young. I'm not old. I'm only 32 years old. But I don't know if you remember like 10 years ago that in this season, besides the sweet beans, we all always had many movies in television that um, these movies were about the, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But that doesn't happen anymore as before. I mean, in every channel, TV channel, we have movies right but now we don't have that anymore uh okay i andy you want to say something go on andy yeah like you mentioned before i'm, I'm agree with geraldo mm -hmm. like when you do the sweet beans in the countryside the test the flavor is different the one that you make it into the city i mean mm -hmm. gas, the flavor is completely so in regard to the movies, yeah, I agree with you too. All those things are missing. <laughs> yeah, that is true. It is true. That's right. Um, I have a question for for um, praise me. I have a question for you. Okay, okay. Why do you think that uh, we don't have as many movies as before about Jesus Christ in television so far, like these years. It's not like before. What do you think? Um, to be honest, I never saw that movies. <laughs> you never did? Wow. But you missed a very interesting <laughs> part of Semana Santa. You know, 
in Semana <laughs> never, I never missed watching a movie from Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, Dominican Republic. <laughs> Crazy. From which planet are you coming from, bro? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't know. He says, he says he doesn't remember. I believe that he watched before, but he doesn't remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I remember. Um, so you um, never watched La Pasión de Cristo? You never watched that movie? From to remember. The Mel Gibson. Uh, that's a very famous movie. Well, you don't like Jesus Christ. You have to revise yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Brigida, you want to say something? Yes, go on. He doesn't know what he lost. Yes, but he is on time. Uh, raise me, you can watch it this season. You know, that's the best thing about Semana Santa, that you have an opportunity every year to do things that you haven't done. Uh, but, you know, try to do it at least one watch Jesus Christ dying and reviving, like in the resurrection, right? <laughs> Teacher, that um, was, I did, I saw the movie in the, in the TV. Oh. Like in El Canal 11, mm -hmm. I think, I guess. Um, but that movie had a bad quality. Mm, mm, I see. So uh, I didn't like it. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, that happens, you know. So it has it had a, a poor quality, and that's why right, you didn't decide to watch it. I see. That's right. <laughs> well, you know, guys, we are in Semana Santa, but we have to take into account that COVID 19 has not disappeared, and many people like to go to the beaches, the rivers. Uh, to the countryside, and you know that you can do it. Yes, yes, you can do it, but you need to be very careful with that. Like, um, avoid getting close to people that you don't know, and the people that you know, still, you have to be careful. Take care of you and take care of the others around you. Because now, People believe that COVID is disappearing because of the vaccines that people are taking, you know? But that's not true. The, the vaccines are only to minimize the, the, effect, the effects of COVID-19 if you, if you take COVID. But it's not that it's going to prevent you from, from getting COVID. So you have to be careful with that. Uh, Yes, I know some of you want to talk, but I have a, I have a question for you. We have like, um, we have like 30 minutes. It could be less because I have to be attending another class, but I have this question and I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose, I'm going to let you think about it first, of course. And I want to clarify something here in this sentence. Uh, before I have to let you know that I'm going to choose people that haven't talked. So those people that haven't talked, start thinking about this because I'm going to call your name. But I want to explain something to you very quick. Uh, check the question, talking about grammar, talking about the structure of the sentence. What do you see in the sentence there? What do you see? Check the grammar, the structure, the, the sentence, how it's written. And let me know, what do you see in the sentence? There is a word that is not supposed to be there. Which one is it? Check it.
If you know what's the word, you can raise your hand and let me know. Oh, Gerardo, go on, yes. Where it was. Okay, but which is the one that is not supposed to be there, Veronica? Gerardo, very good. You identify the location. Uh -huh, go on, Veronica. The word that is not supposed to be there is was. Is was. Was is not supposed to be there. Can anybody tell me why? Can anyone tell me why was is not supposed to be there? If we are talking about a third person, the third person is today, right? Today is the third person. So why is it that we don't use what? Can anyone tell me? Because I think this year, because we use were even if it's the, the third person. Uh, okay, in which grammar? I don't remember the name, but I think that when you are expressing a desire, I think. Well, oh, yeah. Yes and no at the same time. Yes and no. But you are correct. You are correct. Uh, because we in the third person, we use where. That is correct. But in which grammar? Because you need to know which is the grammar that we are working with here. Uh, Veronica, do you have your hands up? I guess Veronica is gone. All right, let me put your hands down, Veronica. If I ask you a question. Are you sure? Yes. Or uh, the conditional, I think, is that grammar. Yes, that is the conditional. Uh, which one? That is the conditional. Yes, which one? Because we have many. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that. We are in conversation and you are in English 6, the majority of you. So, okay, I would I would tell you then. I would tell you. I'll tell you. This is the second conditional, okay? The second conditional is used to talk about hypothetical things, things that are not real. We have um, here, uh, I'm not gonna explain that grammar to you. So limit yourself to know that this sentence is actually uh, in second conditional. In the second conditional, we use it to talk about things that are not real. And if you, and let me take this away. Uh, in the second conditional, when we use the verb to be with a third person or which any, it doesn't matter any uh, pronoun or any person we use were, no was. If I were, if you were, if she were, if they were, always were, no was. All right, then later in the future, uh, in English six, we, I guess that we're gonna see that. But anyways, maybe in English five, you saw it already, but that doesn't matter right now. Okay, now we are here. Uh, I told you that this is something that is not real. In this case, in this case, we don't know, okay? What do I mean that we don't know? Well, it says, what things would you do if today were your last day? I don't know if today is your last day. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's not my last day, right? But we are just talking about in a hypothetical way, okay? In an invented way. We are just guessing because we don't know. So think about this now. Think about like, for example, two or three, uh, three things that you would do if you knew that today was or were your last day? Think about that. What are those things that you have wanted to do in your life that you haven't done? And if today a doctor or God tells you that today is your last day here on the earth, that you are gonna die tomorrow, what are those things that you would do? Think about it. 
for two minutes and then I'm gonna choose uh, some people. And if, and the people that haven't talked today, if you wanna talk, you can raise your hand. I'll give you the opportunity. And then after that, I'm gonna keep choosing people. Right now it's 9.34, at 9.37, I'm going to start asking if you don't raise your hands. Keep your hands up, Veronica. And Deidania, keep it there because at 9.37, I'm going to start with you. All right, it's 9.37, we will see them. All right, we start with Veronica, Deidania, Andy, Emily, go on. Veronica. Dear teacher, I don't have to think too much about this answer. If today were my last day, I would spend it totally with my son. Wow. That's it. Very good, very good. You spend it with your son, very nice. So she would spend the day with her son. Very nice. What about you, Deidania? What would you do? Yes, teacher. I really give thanks to the Lord. I will try to do everything that I can do that I like. I will spend time with my family and my friends, my really friends. And that's it. Oh, yeah, very good. That is nice. <laughs> That's nice. What about you, Andy? What would you do? Uh, me, if today were my last day in this beautiful land, I spent my love once and like my partner said, I think you need time to uh, have that meeting to see with your uh, soul. So, defend yourself. So we spend the time because we all people that really uh, care about the loved one. All right. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. I like to hear those words. Piero, what would you do? Yes. It was me, teacher, but it's okay. 
Oh, but you go on, <laughs> Mary. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> okay. Uh, first, um, if today were my last day, mm -hmm. I something I have to know first is that I have enjoyed my life. So <laughs> I think that I just, I will stay quiet in my bed and I will call all my family. Well, my grandmother and father, mother, and my siblings. Mm -hmm. Just to say that don't cry because I'm in a better place because I'm really, I, I have been really good in this life. So, so don't worry. Family. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I have enjoyed my life. I have done everything that I wanted to do. And... Yes. Just wow. that bit. To be quiet. Uh, <laughs> all right. Very good. <laughs> very nice. What would you do, Piero? Would you call your family too? Well, teacher, I... I spend my time with my family and I will eat all things that I like. I I, th I think that. <laughs> right, you're gonna eat, right? Eat. Well, yes, that's true. That's true. That's right. So he would eat whatever he wants, where or whatever he can buy, because you know they're very expensive things. If you go to my mom, maybe the, the, we have a friend here, Yandra. No Yandra, Pamela, no. Another Yandra that works in my mom, so you can go there and eat all the fish and, and seafood that you would like. Where is that, Bishop? Huh? There is a, what is that? There is a, a student, she's not here. Her name is Yandra, and she works at Los Primos in my mom. So if, if you go there, she can get a discount for you. We need to go there. To <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell her that I'm your friend and she's gonna give me the discount, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk to Yandra to see if they can do an special for students, OEM students, right? Like a discount, 5% or 10%, I don't know. <clears throat> but she told me that if, if we go there, she can get a discount. I mean, she didn't tell me specifically. She told the group or the people there. But yeah, we'll, we will find out about that. That's right. Samuel, what would you do if today were your last day? Well, teacher, uh, if today was my last day, I, I will meet with all the family in a bed uh, because uh, always the or oh, in always case in some in some case or a few cases the people that we go we go uh, pass away uh, pass away or oh, yes we pass away uh, normally is in a bed in a, in a sickness status right. I, I meet with my family enjoy this moment uh, thanks uh, thanks uh, I say thanks the Lord because I I will go to the heaven and I I will go to the, the better life because they, in the heaven is in a, in a paradise, you know. And these things uh, I do when, if if today will, will be my my last day. All right. So today will be your last day. You would be very good. Very good. Yes. Right. Uh, then what do you say, Geraldo? And we're gonna finish with Sabrina because we are running out of time. Will, what would you do, Hera? Teacher, I would like to repeat and uh, the final game of my favorite thing in night twenty zero nine. Someone is like me, fan of this baseball team. This <laughs> this was the one or day emotional day for me because. 
I don't see you um, before to uh, to win this game. My uh -huh. favorite thing is uh, Leonel del Escogido. Right. Yeah, in Dominican Republic. That's uh, in my last wish. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's nice. Deidania, what would you do? Now I guess I got frozen. Can you guys listen to me? Jesus Christ. I am frozen. Sorry guys. Um, you know, internet always does those, does those things. <laughs> All right. Deidani, are you there? Can you tell us what you would do? Teacher, I told you. No, I, but why do you have your hands up again? I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Was it you who said I wanted to spend your whole day with your son? I think that was Veronica who said it. Oh. Right. Not right. teacher, that was me. Oh, okay. All right. Right. Um, okay, Noemi, go on. Yes, teacher. Did. Yes. Um, uh, decirlo? Sobre la pregunta que usted estaba diciendo, profe. Uh, if it were my last day, you will enjoy it with my family and visiting many, many tourist places in my country. Wow, yeah, to visit many places here, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a good, that's that's a nice thing, yeah. Traveling during a day, that is nice. <laughs> yeah. What would you do then? What? That, that was good. Let's see what Jorge Indio wants. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Uh, <laughs> well, I would, uh, I would do if, if it was my my last day. I would do what uh, I have never done, give more love to family. Uh, each each person that I had on him teacher. Very good. Hey, you know, you said something very interesting there. I would do what I have never done. <laughs> uh, I like that. That was a very good one. <laughs> very nice. What about you, Olaini? What would you do? Well, teacher, I don't have to do too much. I only will spend all the day with my family, especially with my baby. <laughs> Very nice. I like that. Yes. Very nice. Sabrina, and we finish with uh, Raise Me. Go on, Sabrina. Okay. Uh, to be honest, teacher, I'm not uh, sure because I would have to leave the moment. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe I would probably to try to enjoy my last day with my family and close friends. But above uh, all, to get closer uh, to God. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I like that. Very nice. Very nice. What about you, Raise Me? 
Um, simple. I would cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is the only person that has said the truth here. <laughs> I would cry a lot, <laughs> but, but uh -huh. um, I would say everything I always want to say to my loved ones and I spend time with them and apologize if I have done something wrong in life and uh -huh. give thanks too. But 24 hours is not enough to do everything what I, what I want. <laughs> Yes, you see, 24 hours is not enough to do what I want to do, Raimi says. Guys, listen, please. Pay attention to raise me. Go on, raise me. But I would, I would, I would like to jump out of a helicopter, see uh -huh. the end of One Piece, travel yes. to Japan or around the world. But again, 24 hours is not enough. <laughs> then, then, you know, Raise Me says something very interesting. Uh, 24 hours is not enough to do what you would do if today were your last day. You know what you have to do? You, ha you have to start doing things now. Like, don't lose time. Start doing things now. Because time won't ever be enough to do all what you want to do, you know? And that is one thing that raised me sad. Like, I will tell everybody what I want to say. Like, if you want to tell a person, go to hell, you stupid. Don't talk to me. You're nasty. I don't like you. I don't love you. Do it now. Why do you have to wait for the last day of your life? Do it now. If you want to say I love you or you want to give money to someone, I don't know. If you like a girl or a boy and you want to say, hey, I like to do it now. Why, why is it that you don't say things, right? I'm not a psychologist, okay? I'm just telling you because we're talking about our last day in life. So do it now. The things, the things that we draw up to that, wait, like, okay. Do it yeah, you're leaving things I'm for tomorrow all the time. I'm gonna travel next year, so uh -huh. we don't prepare ourselves to uh -huh. things that we really love. We just wait. Oh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it. You only think about the future, but what you don't realize is that the future is now. So you have to do it now, because you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. The Bible says. Well, guys, you know what? Uh, this conversation that we had right now, this is the homework that you're going to do or the homework that you're going to have. You will have to record an audio, okay? An audio. And you will have to upload it. Listen, I'm telling you what is coming, okay? The homework is not in the platform yet. So I'm telling you what is coming for you to know. I like to give a heads up. So what you're going to do is that you're going to record your voice and you're gonna say at least four or five things that you would do. So think about, you will have time to think about about four or five things that you would do, okay? That you would remember that we use the conditional, the second conditional, to talk about things that are not real, hypothetical things. Why? Because the conditions are not given. For you to do those things, you know what's the condition? You need to know that, that today is your last day. And as you don't know, whatever you say is hypothetical because you are only guessing, you know? So it doesn't matter if what you're going to say might sound stupid to you or not real, right? Because that's what we are doing. 
you can talk about things that are not real. So that's it. Uh, okay, let's see. Do you guys have a question before we finish? Any questions or any comments, any complaints about? Uh, I don't have that question. Teacher. Okay. Samuel, hold on, Samuel. Okay, I just say. Samuel, hold on. Hold on means wait. Uh, Andy is saying something, so we'll give you the opportunity after Andy, and then after you is Patricia Amonte. Go on, Andy. Thank you, teacher. Uh, so I do not have any question or complaint, but I want to uh, share with you guys. Uh, please be safe. You know that uh, pretty much in my country, this generation is just what being uh, this week for us. Many people are drinking, driving like crazy, like no tomorrow. Uh, please make sure that you follow the rules that, I mean, like I mentioned before, don't forget about the COVID. Uh, play safe. Right. Enjoy. All of you enjoy this week but make sure that you come back safe and sound the following week. Very good, Andy. Uh, yes, um, go on. Jesus, I forget. That's you, Samuel. Okay, I just say the, about the question, like the, the song of the third heaven. If, if I, I, I like, I, I need the, no, uh, I, I live uh, as if I live it all day uh, will be my last day. Is the, the the song of the third heaven? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Very nice. I don't know if you guys are listening to me. My internet is telling me that my connection is poor. Well, go on, Patricia. Um, I don't know if you said it at the beginning, but I just want to make sure uh, on Saturday, are we going to have the video conference? Or... No, guys, Saturday is, is okay. no class on Saturday. Uh, que Sábado Santo, ¿verdad? That's how you call it? Yes. Holy Saturday. <laughs> so no class, no class next Saturday, no. The homework, I mean, we don't need to meet. The homework, you will have it during the week, so you can do it. So take take uh, next Saturday off and enjoy it. So if you don't have, okay. yes, if you don't have any other question, um, I have to let you know that uh, I haven't corrected the last homework, so I'm going to do it during this weekend. Not weekend, today is Saturday, the last day of the weekend. So I'm going to correct homework during the Holy Week. Uh, so you can see the results in your, in the platform, like how much you got. And take care, I will see you later then. See ya. Enjoy the Hollywood. You too. See you guys. All right. See you then. Bye. 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 -bye. Happy Hollywood. Happy.